So I've been using the Windows 10 magnifier for a couple years now, and I found it actually pretty useful as long as you pair it with a text to speech software like Read For Me, which I did another video on. You don't really need a big program like Zoom Text or Magic. The only features I use is invert color, zoom in and zoom out, and then I could just change the cursor in the Windows 10 settings. And like I said earlier, for text to speech, I use Read For Me. So the first thing you're going to want to do is hit Windows key and plus to launch Windows 10 magnifier, or you can also just search it by typing in magnifier in the search. You can use windows and then the plus or minus keys on both the number pad and next to the backspace to zoom in and out. Now you'll see this little window right here where you have all your options. It looks pretty simple but it, it really works if you just need basic functions. Another plus to this is that it doesn't take up a lot of your computer's resources so you can use this where you're using heavy programs. If you click on view you can see three different options. Full, lens, and dock. Full screen utilizes the whole monitor so your whole monitor zooms into whatever you're magnifying. Lens gives you like a magnifying glass type effect. So this magnifying glass follows wherever your mouse goes. This isn't useful to me as I need the full screen to be able to see things. But I can see if someone has more vision than I do that it might help them out. Docked is pretty similar except the magnifying window doesn't move around and it just stays stationary. You could increase the size of the window so you can have half your screen be the docked window and then the other half be non-magnified or you can have it as small as this. Again I don't really have a use for this as I need the whole full screen magnification. Now I'm back in full screen mode. So when you click off the settings for the magnifier you'll see this little magnifying glass icon. You can click on that to go back to the settings, or you can also just minimize it to keep it out of sight. That's normally what I do. If you open the magnifier options window, you'll see all these different settings. You can set how much the view changes when it's zooming in and out. So you can change the speed at which you zoom in and out. The next thing you can do is turn on invert color and off. You could also use control alt i. So this is me zooming in and out at 100% at first. I have to hit more keys to zoom in or out, so it's a little slow, but at 100 150% you can see it's a lot faster so I hit less keys but zoom in more and zoom out more this is especially useful if you just need to zoom in to see something quickly and then you could zoom out just as fast next you can change the tracking settings so you can choose to follow the mouse pointer follow the keyboard focus so whenever you type it will instantly go to that now the only problem I have with this software which is actually a pretty big problem, I wish Microsoft would address it, is that it doesn't let you customize the hotkeys. So you can't change Control alt i to invert the color to whatever you want, or you can't change the Windows plus or minus, the zoom in and out, or any of the other keys. But I did find a workaround that actually works pretty well. So normally if you wanted to zoom in to see something, you'd have to take your hand off the mouse hit the windows key and then use the plus and minus to zoom in and out which honestly is pretty inefficient it slows down your productivity and if you're low vision then you really don't need any more of that same goes for invert color you have to take your hand off the mouse to hit i when you're doing your control alt i command so instead i bought a mmo mouse which has customizable macros so one of my buttons is assigned to the command control alt i so i don't have to take my hand off the mouse whenever i'm doing invert color and i could quickly switch between between invert on and off. For zooming in and out, instead of hitting windows and then the plus and minus, I use a program called Key Tweak, which is in my setup video, that lets you remap your keyboard and change the keys to whatever you want globally, not just for a specific program. So I changed the plus and minus to F1 and F2. So whenever I hit F1 and F2, those are actually plus and minus. So now I could zoom in and out while using one hand to zoom in and out and the other for the mouse without taking my hand off of it. Now the plus and minus on the number pad is F1 and F2, which isn't really a burden because I hardly use those keys. Sometimes I have to for certain video games, but being able to zoom in and out quickly is definitely worth it. I highly recommend this program. It's free. It comes with all Windows 10 computers. It's not tasking on your computer. doesn't demand much of it. There's no lag. It's easy to use. And especially if you don't need a bunch of extra features, it's perfect. If you do need some sort of text-to-speech, like I said earlier, Read For Me is a perfect program and I made a video on that as well. Both Magnifier and Read For Me work perfectly together. It works so well, it works with big programs. I play video games using the Magnifier and so if there's something I need to read, I could just quickly zoom in, check it out, no lag whatsoever, and then zoom out. I'm all about efficiency and simplicity. These programs work really well. Alright, thanks for watching.